Welcome to Two Cent Theater, the podcast where you can hear fresh bananas take on classic films. I'm Stephen Lara, joined by... Hi, I'm Connor Jones. And over here to my left we have... Miguel, which is, this is completely audio, so why the fuck would you point out that I'm on your left? They wouldn't have not seen that. And, and we're also joined by... Rodolfo, hey. Today we're looking at Meet the Feebles, a film that can best be described as the Muppets meets the Land of Confusion video. The film tells the tale of the Feebles, a puppet acting troupe trying to find success in television while dealing with the struggles of romance, infidelity, STDs, drug running, pornography, rings, and insanity fueled gun massacres. <laughs> Did I mention that the film is about Muppets? <clears throat> Oh. N- nice, nice intro in there, Shakespeare. <laughs> Thank Porno- you, man. Like, porno- shut up. Pornography. Just like, just like Robert in this movie. I love Shakespeare. <laughs> so, welcome. This is the second episode of uh, Two Cent Theater, and today's film we're gonna discuss is uh, Meet the Feebles, directed by Peter Jackson. Yes, that's right. The same Peter Jackson who directed Lord of the Rings. Oh shit, you're right. Fuck. The Lovely Bones. The Hobbit movies. Didn't he do that King Kong movie? Yeah, and King, King Kong. Kong. Okay. And uh, Heavenly Creatures. And The Frighteners. Never seen oh, yeah, he did do The Frighteners, that's right. Which I haven't seen at all. You like, I think. It's a, it's like a sort of comedic horror film. Did, did he do Lightning Thief? No, wait, that's Percy Jack. What? <laughs> yeah, that's not, I'm thinking what? of yeah, Percy Jack. That's, that's Percy the main character, character not, not the director. director. I forgot, I'm sorry, I hey, forgot. And Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, directed by Percy Jackson. Excuse me, directed by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. It would have been more interesting. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's just froze like... up a bit. I should have wrote a fucking outline. <laughs> 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 you know this movie. You've seen it ten times. Yeah, but like... I don't know. Are we supposed to like... Go through the whole plot? Once again, we're not professionals. We're we're not, emphasize we are that. not professionals Professional. if you couldn't Even tell. though... Connor and Steven said, speak for yourself last episode. All right, you know what? I don't think we have any documentation you know of that. I did the, it's on YouTube. the line. So basically, no. let's start off with the first question, which is so basic. Did you like this movie? <laughs> I love we can't even stick to our own <laughs> fucking outline that we set up, but okay, let's do it. Did you like this movie, Miguel? Honestly, I didn't like it up until the end. So the really? ending saved it? The ending is what saved it. Everything else, it was just like, so much was going on. I like like multiple subplots, but with me, it was just like everything happened way too fast that like it felt for me that like I I couldn't get into it because so much was going on. Only until like middle to the end is where they kind of slow down and focus on the other parts of the subplots. Mm. Is where I actually started to get invested in. I see, and I liked it. What about you, Rodolfo? Did you like this movie? Yeah, pretty much liked it. Like I said, uh, kind of like the first one. The first one we watched. Um. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It just said to watch this movie. I'm like, all right, sure. And, you know, it turned out way completely different than <laughs> the beginning. No, you, know? Oh, you know, this is a, this is one thing that I want to, I want to know. What did you think going into the movie? Like, what did you think about, what did you think the film was going to be going into? Well, just by the title alone. I, I didn't know. I, I thought it was just something different. Like, as soon as I, at first, when it started off, um, I saw that it was like, like puppets and whatnot, whatever, like, uh, What's it called? Muppets? Yeah, that, but marionettes. Kind of, cause I, I saw like some of them later on. Like They were being pulled by strings, actually. Mm-hmm. But uh, at first I thought, I'm like, oh, there's just like some random TV show. Then like, And then I realized, wait, no. These are the actual oh, characters. This is the movie. It's like it's like actual movies and whatnot. Like the actual movie. And there's like no human beings here. I'm like, whoa, okay. This is different. I wasn't expecting this at all. Yeah, it's like uh, the Muppets. Basically. It's like but- the Muppets if... If a misanthrope directed them instead of Jim Henson. So the movie starts off with a musical number of Meet the Feebles, which is basically explaining, like, their TV show. But then it hard cuts to, like, um, them, like, talking shit about each other and, like, basically, like, clearly... No one likes each other in this theater troupe. Like, it basically points out, like, immediately, it it lets you know, this is not a kid's movie. This is not what you think it's gonna be. And it basically... If you were to shoot this movie with, like, humans, it would be, like, a fucked up human drama. I could see this, like, with edgy teenagers. I, I, I'll just say, uh, I liked this movie, however, see, I'm kind of the same boat as Miguel. I didn't, lo- I wasn't really feeling this movie up until the middle, when it goes to Vietnam, suddenly, oh. and it becomes oh, the yeah. deer hunter. Which is funny, 
like the first thing that popped in my mind when they showed that scene was like, oh, I get it, uh, chink monks, get it. <laughs> I didn't put that together. Oh, I didn't think of that. I just, <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I, I honestly didn't know what the Vietnamese were supposed to be. I thought they were cats, because, like, oh, you know, like, like Asian teeth. and cats. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I can kind of, I see that now. Kind of remind me of what was called, the Ewoks? They did oh, look yeah. like Ewoks, <laughs> except more annoying and more racist. But, uh, yeah, up until that point, I really wasn't feeling this movie. I thought there was just, like, too much going on. Bad audio mixing for the early scenes that yeah. I couldn't really hear what was going on. But then when Vietnam happened, <laughs> this is, that's a weird sense. When Vietnam happened, I really got invested. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, this Vietnam scene is a parody of The Deer Hunter, another movie that Miguel you need to see because was, no, it doesn't have Willem Dafoe. In it. I haven't Never seen mind. It. Oh, I, I, I think Platoon. Yeah, I'm thinking of Platoon, a film that does have Willem Dafoe in it. And now I need to watch it. Uh, for those who don't know. I am infatuated with Willem Dafoe ever since I've seen that beautiful baby boy in uh, Beyond Two Souls. This deer hunter scene, it basically, it is the scene from the deer hunter with Russian roulette being played, except replace Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken with frog puppets and the Vietnamese with chipmunks. I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> God damn it. I, you know, you know, on next episode, you're going to take the reins, Connor. You, you, like, you just gotta... Oh, oh, okay. Do I have permission now to take the reins? Yes. Yes, because yes, I'm not good at this unless I have, like, an outline. I did not prepare. Turns out preparing is important. You, you're good. Welcome back. Oh, you're don't actually, take it out of You're better at counseling. this than I am. <laughs> don't take it out of betrayal. <laughs> don't take... It's a learning <laughs> process. Now, Miguel. Yes. Or, and Rodolfo. And yeah. Connor. <laughs> on, I want in your head, no, not in your head. On, <laughs> on, try to count out how many subplots are in this movie. Oh, um, okay. There's the uh, infidelity uh, in plot. Head. Yeah, in your head. No, but then I realized that wouldn't be good for audio. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I said out loud. on this radio show. I would do this in your head. Eight. I have to guess right now. Name them. I, it's uh, uh, the Bletch one. Which, Bletch is my favorite character. Really? Him and the rat, I love it. I love the whole subplot with them. There's, there's uh, that infidelity one. There's the drug running. The drug running. The Harry, the rabbit one. With yeah. The fly. The STDs. Uh, Robert and Lucille. The love story. Um, that director, how he wants to put his little musical on there, but he can't. Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian. So that's like, what, six? That's about five, I think. Five. five or six. Did we talk about the uh, the baby? Oh, the oh baby. that was so weird. That's not mine. <laughs> He's got your eyes. <laughs> that it's baby the, was terrifying. The, the way he kept screaming, like ah, kill that baby. The BDSM. Oh yeah, the thing. pornography oh, the porn. ring. Oh, I forgot about that. Honestly, you could cut out like three of these, and the film would, I think, would kind of be better for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, honestly. If I had my way, this movie would just be like Muppets in Vietnam. Let's do this. Oh, the uh, the that's kind of like the drug. Yeah, uh, the drug one. Because he's because the fro- this is another weird sense. The frog is a coke addict. I thought it was a lizard. He was just a drug addict in general. Because he said he named a bunch of oh, drugs. Yeah. Like- I, I was addicted to every barbiturate known to man. By the way, can we talk about how like. He kills an assistant with a knife and it just brushed off like nothing happened. Oh, yeah. That's like, oh, we've been through this. Death has no consequences in this movie. Nope. And another thing I love about this movie are the musical numbers. Like, it has very few musical numbers, but when, they, when they're when they on, I love them. I actually kind of like that. Especially, like, the, the first scene where uh, it's uh, Robert singing to Lucille. Lucille. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love the, the guitar. Then, that then, was then. the only... Oh, my God. The guitar drove me crazy because it was just the same... Line of audio. What? No, it's I don't know. No, it's like <laughs> it sucks so bad. I was like, I want it. I want to. But then he drops a guitar and then it's still playing like in the background. Yes, <laughs> and I love how then his voice turns operatic. I thought they were gonna that's do word, more right? with that. It's operatic. Yeah, that's the thing. If the movie operatic. sets up like it might be like a musical because there's that if, after the Meet the Feebles one. There's the one where it's the guy singing with the piano like. How do I get around? I'm actually uh, the opposite. Besides the the Robert and Lucille song, I hated all the other ones. You know, I'm, I agree. I agree with Miguel because they, they just feel like they just feel very generic, generic, and like I just did not care for. Them. See, the thing about a musical is that unless you're you like Garden of Love, no, 
<laughs> I liked the. I I didn't. Um. I I didn't like much of the musical numbers except for the one at the very end. But that's just because it's the context of that scene is very yeah. like touching. But uh. Yeah, none of the musical numbers really like worked for me because one, they weren't produced well. I, I know that's kind of like weird for. Well, you didn't like the sodomy number. Oh, the, I oh the sodomy. The sodomy number. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that either. Uh, Fucking condom balloons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I would say that, like, if this was actually on TV, I'd, like, if this was, like, a TV show like the Muppet show was, I'd watch the hell out of this. This would be amazing to see on television. But, uh... Meet the, the Feebles as a TV series. That could work. It could, if, but, if like, you got, like, if you got HBO... Although, that would be weird because HBO has Sesame Street... And it would have Meet the Feebles on at no, the same but like, time. If you can make, you can, if you can space out the subplot in a season, it would yeah, actually it would, work. it would actually be better yeah. for a TV show. Yeah, it would. One thing for me. All right, right to Peter Jackson. Let's get him on the horn. Let's get him on the podcast. Actually, one thing for me, like in the beginning, like the whole like Lucille thing and Robert, I thought like Robert was gonna be like, uh, like eventually replace somebody. Completely, and be the star of the show. No, but then yeah. it just changed uh, so, so some, much. So some context: uh, Robert is a hedgehog who's in love with Lucille, a Spanic. poodle. He's, she's a poodle, a poodle right? I believe. Yeah, I thought she was lemur. No. Do you well, not know what? First the llama thing, and now this. Do you not know what animals are? Do we have to take Actually, back it's, to it's kindergarten? It's a little bit more harder to tell what, yeah, what kind of animals are. Because honestly, they all kind of look the same. My parents Some of them look the same. The zoology because, no, because, <laughs> because, no, <laughs> Lucille, I didn't get the free tiger poster. <laughs> <laughs> because Lucille does look like that sheep. That's like um. She does kind of yeah, like the sheep that uh, what's her face, um. The hippos the, name. There's like Heidi. There's like, like a the thousand Heidi's characters in this movie. Oh yes, and I'm surprised that Miguel and Connor. You named like most of them. I was surprised like because I, I love the movie and I can't like. Well, that's the thing with me. I have terrible like I've I have good memory when it comes to like plot details, but when it comes to character names, I cannot tell you like like if somebody tells me, hey, you know this character from this anime? Oh yeah, the one with the blue hair. Oh yeah, yeah that's uh, the only way I can do the white little bitch. Yeah, you mean Shinji Akari? Yeah. <laughs> Why, why? Way to bring a neon Evangelion on... My god, you <laughs> cannot take the reins. You don't know words. I know, I can't know that's, words. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so... That's what Tony Robert would say. That was rude. That was rude. So, Robert's the hedgehog, Lucille's the poodle. Uh, there's Heidi the hippopotamus, who's like the, ma- who's like the main star Dark. of the show. I didn't like who her. Who is depressed and has eating problems. Uh, eating eating problems. Like, she's... She has like a very fragile mental state. Yeah, which uh, really leads shows to the conclusion. The yeah, by the conclusion where she guns down most of the theater troupe, which I was sort of like, "Huh, does this make Heidi sort of unlikable?" Oh, but then I thought about it. You know, everyone in this theater troupe besides uh, like Robert, Robert, Robert and Lucille, Lucille, they're really unlikable. They're all unlikable, so she's kind of like an anti-hero in a way. I didn't. She got rid of all the scummy people. <laughs> like yeah. the, the thing with me was that when she was getting ready to hang herself, like I was watching. In, <laughs> yeah, I was watching in the other room. The hippo while they were, tries to hang herself. I was watching in the other room while they were prepping up uh, this episode, and I'm not sure if you could hear me, but I was yelling, "Was like, do it, do it, you pussy." And then she survived. And the then hanging. meanwhile, and then later she kills the pussy. Yeah, and then she ah! like she has the gun, and I'm like, do it. And then she turns turns it on the on the cat. I was like, I wanted her to kill herself. Here's the thing with the scene with the cat. Like she's about to, she brings out this like what, like M two four nine sort of looking gun. <laughs> what? That was way too specific. No, he plays anyways, CSGO. <laughs> I used to, but she pulls this gun like right at her. Like she's about to pull the trigger, and then this this uh, feline cat. This fucking cat that comes this in. This feline cat? She, don't, wait, like don't this worry. wolf dog? Anyway, she comes in. She's the one who's been cheating with Bletch. Like this uh, this giant, what is it, seal? No. Walrus. 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 This giant walrus. What does infidelity mean? Is that what, and, is that what cheating means? Yes. Yes. Oh, Anyways, okay. she comes in and she's like, she notices that Heidi's about to kill it. So she's like, she kind of like does brushes it off. And then as she's walking out, you know, you'd be able to kill yourself faster if like you took off the, the safety off and like then you eat. and then she's so stupid she realized that she has a gun and says oh yeah go ahead kill yourself 
But she doesn't think, wait, she has a gun. I just told her how to take out the self the safety. Not only that, but now I'm, I'm fucking die. with her man. Yeah, exactly. I'm fucking with her man. And and I've been insulting her throughout the whole movie. That's why Heidi basically, instead of killing herself, switched the gun. And what did she say? Uh, hold on, I have it here. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, like, you man-stealing slut? Ten yes, years later. basically. Man-stealing slut. I hated the fact that, like, in the end, uh, I know we're kind of, like, jumping immediately to the end. Because <laughs> the end is really, like, the biggest part of the movie. Like the, the This film can kind of be best summarized as a... Uh, it's sort of like a long setup for the payoff of that massacre at the end, I think. Because yeah. everything's going wrong and building mm-hmm. and building until it just Can you explodes. imagine if they fucked up something in production and it's like, Fuck, we're blowing this puppet up, huh? What the fuck are we gonna do? Oh, I I can't imagine working with these puppets. But I, I kind of I could kind of expect them to like, I would want them to expect things to happen. And then have like extra puppets just in case. I hated I hated the fact that at the end where um, where uh, uh, Bletch was like. Heidi, I love you. And she immediately, like, gives and she's like, I, oh, me- I love you too. Like, I immediately come you. on, are you kidding me? No, kill her. Kill her. Kill kill son her. of a bitch. Kill the bitch. Like, With pleasure, I boss. Love, I love the flashback when uh, it's, like, black and white and it's, like, they're in a club. It was, like, a jazz and club. And Oh, I forgot about that. And no, yeah, it's it's like, was, like, I so make stereotypical you for the worms. You can, like, no, oh, yeah, the worms are supposed you can, to be so, black people. Yeah. Like, the lips were... Freaking huge. Nice going, Peter Jackson. To be fair, Peter Jackson's from New Zealand. What's that supposed to mean? Like, the racism's not big there. Maybe... The, I don't know. <laughs> racism like doesn't Clover's exist head. in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Oh, New racism doesn't exist there. It's not like the aboriginal people are like... I don't know what that means. Aboriginal? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Those are indigenous people to Australia and New Zealand. You're... I thought they would call Australians. <laughs> like what are you talking, Connor? You can't get mad at him. He doesn't. He's asking you and a question. Like, we're talking the, about the movie. They're the Native Americans of those countries before the white people moved in. You could have just said that because they're, they're fuck you, dude. All right, fuck just go you. on with the movie. Read right, a book. So yeah, not in the nightclub, fuck you. It looks like it's kind of creepy though in the way because Bletch is like, yeah, and then the night, yeah, she just turned eighteen, and she's like, <laughs> I just turned eighteen. Oh, no, I, I can she's saying in two years star. I'm gonna turn eighteen. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Oh. Although, in hip, although, come on, in hippo years, what's that really mean? But then, they, she, he, he instantly went for the kiss. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's almost like Bletch isn't a very likable character. <laughs> no, he, there's a, there's, a, in the beginning of the movie, there's a little fish, she was like, I got Oh yeah, Guppy. I got an act. And then she, he said, okay, turns on this, this light, this little... Uh, Come on, let's see it. And let's see it. And then he's like, oh, doing it. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I got something. I got a toothache in the back. Look at my back molar. And then he just eats him. Again, death has no consequence in this. And then afterwards, there's like a golf scene with this, like, uh, the... the, With Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. And they're at this uh, golf uh, golf, uh, club place I, I honestly like it would it would be so funny if they actually went to a golf place in those costumes like what the fuck is this <laughs> and no and then literally said like uh one part that i liked is like oh i'm so tempted like the fucking hog basically said oh i'm so tempted to get a uh membership here and like, oh they want to let you here yeah they want to let assholes <laughs> but like no and that's what i'm saying um he ends up uh bletch ends up barfing to that make thing. him miss that yeah but like he ends up barfing up that uh, guppy, that fish. and she, it's it's still alive, but it eventually dies. Did I get the part? <laughs> I, I looked up uh, hippopotamus to uh, to human years. <laughs> Every two years is one hippo year. So, so she's she eight. So she's eight years old. That son of a <laughs> bitch. But unless she means like sixteen, hippo she'd be seventeen years either way. Like if she says she's sixteen. In two years. That means she's 16. Wait. That means she was... Take, be- right now, she's 16. Either way, she said, I'll be 18 in two years. This guy's a pedophile. You know, never mind. This walrus is a pedophile. <laughs> By the way, another thing I love is just like, there are things that are unexplained. Like, what the fuck? And then the movie just moves along. Like, the part where um, there's a par- sex scene with a cow and a cockroach. The cow accidentally kills the cockroach. And then he just throws the, the body into the sarlacc pit. Yeah, and it eats it. And then... That's never explained. <laughs> Didn't they use the exact same puppet at the end? For when... Mr. Big? Yeah, the for whale? Mr. Big. I, by the way, it looked did like they it. refer to Mr. Big earlier in the film? Because I do not no, remember. No. no. But, as soon as they were like, we got to pay Mr. Big a visit, right before they drive in there, and I'm like, 
Who the fuck is Mr. Big? And then suddenly a whale pops up. Hello, boy, it's me, Mr. Big. And they drive through him. Did, did that Straight kill through him? the asshole. Did that kill him? No, or like, no kill him? It, it just like hurt him, I feel like. No, it I killed him. It definitely molested him. No, they, it killed him. How did it kill, kill him? him? Because remember, they're like, eliminate Mr. Big, and then they go through... So but that doesn't ass. kill him. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem to kill I, I him. I mean, like if they're running over his insides, probably. It may also be because probably. the puppet wasn't that great. The whale puppet was not good at all. It was a like, lot of these puppets aren't that great. I, well, actually, here's one thing: the the hippo, Heidi's hippopotamus puppet suit isn't very good. Bletch's walrus suit is I, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Sid the elephant looks damn good. I think. By it's the way, all stylized and has good shading yeah. on it. For a cartoonistic, yeah. Speaking yeah. of Bletch, I love the the suits he wears in terms of like he's a warrior. Yeah, and I love it. I just love his voice. I'll make you a star. I'll make you a star. Get off me, you fat whore! <laughs> <laughs> I never loved you. Oh my god. Oh, and then he goes back into her room because she didn't she didn't want to go on with the play anymore. He just fucks he's, her. No, he's like, ah, I gotta do this. <laughs> Babe, I, get to I love you. Make then love they, to me. Make love to me. Oh, Blatch, I knew you still And I love how me. he's shaking. He's like, like he doesn't like, oh. want to do this. He's like shuddering, and then he comes out. Everybody, the we're show. bad. The show must go on. And then he's like, everybody's like clapping and cheering, like basically listening into the Yeah, fucking, you fucked your yeah. old girlfriend. <laughs> who has depression and I, is fucked up. I love how she never, like when she's like stripping down, she's like, we have the hotel room for three days. He's like... I'll turn the AC on. It's gonna get cold. Put your clothes back on. I don't I'm want I'm hot, you. Blitch, but not hot in the way you think. No. Man, a lot. Of, a lot. I was thinking about the, that dialogue piece you just said. Like when you stand in that hotel room, a lot, a lot, a lot of like falling apart marriages or relationships. Usually, they use that line. <laughs> that like we never we. When we were young and we were in that hotel room, we didn't leave for like three days. By the way, who fucks for like just straight up three days? That's impossible, I think. Says I, the virgin. I mean, they are oh. animals. Oh, oh, oh that's, a low, that's a low fuck. I'm a low low virgin. virgin. I'm also a virgin. Fuck yeah, you. but that, that was Why the fuck are you killing for. your own kind then? That was what? uncalled for. What'd you say? Why are you killing your own kind? Because you're all virgin. I'm sorry, I'll edit this out. <laughs> fuck no, you. it's staying in. No, it's, it's gold. Live no. with your sins. It's not. It's no, but it was a good one, though. It's Steven's. It was, no, it was good. It was a good. How is it Steven's sin? I don't know, man. Fuck the one you. Who called him out. I'm on. If you're gonna be funny, at least try for once in your fucking life. This is proof of why, uh, from now on, Connor takes the reins. This is going <laughs> off the rails. Wait, how? He's the one who brought it up. Anyways. No, but <laughs> yeah, he was the one that brought it up, asshole. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. We're talking about meet, meet the, the Feebles, Feebles, which, by the way. The way this podcast is going, like, all over the place, that's the movie. It goes all over the place. It really does. It'll go from one scene where it's like, oh, I love you, until, like, yeah, you got syphilis, man. I, oh, yeah. I, I made, made a mistake. Fly. That fly was annoying. Yeah. I, mean, I like the fly. I, I also didn't it. get that it was supposed to be a journalist. But he was supposed to be, like, a scummy journalist, and then he actually, like... Like, gets he, an article out. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, what the heck? He's supposed to be like... I don't know how this world works. And no. also, I didn't like the scene where he's, like, eat, literally eating poop. Oh, like, yeah. And which is cool. really it, just, like, chilly. And it's close up. But it's and still it's, weird. It's just, it's just still gross. It's like, disgusting. Yeah. And it was the rabbits. Crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh did you eat some carrots here? Earlier <laughs> It's on? a fucking mm. rabbit. I oh, guess God. it did. I'll give you my health insurance. Okay. Fuck you. You ain't got no health insurance. Did the rabbits sound like... Roger Rabbit to anyone else? A tiny bit. A little bit. Not little, thinking no. about it. A tiny In the bit. beginning, I was going to say it sounded like as if uh, they filed a, uh, the fired um, Daffy Duck and uh, made him into like a, a fucking knockoff uh, Bugs, Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Basically. <laughs> they genetically the mutated Daffy Duck into Roger Rabbit. Oh, In the beginning, bunny that's what God. It I know I haven't been a good bunny. <laughs> Please help me. No. Hey, you just got the flu. Take two you got, aspirin. You got the bunny pox. You got the bunny pox. Take two aspirin for, uh, and stay in bed for a week. Hey, this is bunny pox? You my... Holy fuck. This is no. a terrible he said, he disease. He said a severe case. Severe so. case of bunny pox. And then right after, he freaking dies. No, oh, yeah. I love he that dies. scene. I'm anyway. a new man. Like, he's all happy the fact that he he's not going to die. Immediately gets killed by... Gets his head blown By off. gunfire. Which, in terms of, like, watching the movie, to me... It's funny shit like that makes you laugh, like dark humor where it's like. Wait, was that after uh, he he gets like he he goes on the show, right? 
Yeah, he goes after to the it. show and he he looks like a syphilis zombie. And he, he throws up. Yeah, yeah, he throws up on the keyboard and shit. It's fucking and he, wild. And he's like inside this carrot spaceship to the point where they 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 <laughs> think, <laughs> cut it, <laughs> cut <laughs> it, cut it. And then like the top of the the carrot just shuts on its head and it starts flying away. <laughs> I love how we have said so many weird sentences like, so the rabbit gets syphilis and he's in a carrot spaceship. It, like and, and, the hip, say, and the hippopotamus and shoots him in the head. Properly. Um, we haven't even properly like discussed the plot yet because it's kind of hard to talk about this movie. It takes it, so much because it's going so on. much. It's, it's like it's six plots in one movie. Yeah, and it's not very linear. At, no, At which is kind of like why All the first the half of it is kind of a chore to sit through because uh, it the Vietnam flag not only is it like it, where it starts becoming like way more entertaining, but it also like puts things in perspective. Like oh. That's why he's asking about drugs. That's why yeah, they're that's, doing I like all this illegal shit. I like a background story for that. Yeah. yeah. It, it puts everything in... It like starts putting everything into motion, you know, halfway into the movie. Mm. So what are some other... Uh, what are the other questions? Because I think we all like this film. Well, although, we all sort of got into it at different times, I think. Well, I think I'm probably like... I don't know... I know Miguel just said that he he only liked it like he, he up to the, up to the middle end. Yeah, because like Connor said, it was such a, f- a hassle to just go through the first part because so much shit is going on. But as soon as it starts like tying each other together and slowing down and gives now, you a chance to breathe, it felt great. I know we 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 talked about this off screen, but what was your favorite characters? Mine was the rat. Mine was uh, Bletch and the rat. Um, mm. fuck. There's no. I kidding. actually really like the. Uh... The the worm. Oh, yeah, Arthur, I did Arthur. like the worm. I like the I liked because uh, he's so humble. He's so yeah. humble, and he's one of the. F- he's also one of the few like truly <clears throat> decent uh, people. I liked him and Sid the elephant because his arc is pretty satisfying. He finally he he, he, he accepts his, his kid. Yeah. kid after my his boy. legs are shot out. Oh, oh, my, my boy. <laughs> More, more, no, wait, and then more, the chicken more. saying something at the end. Wait, like bastard. bastard, bastard, and then he just gets stomped Crushes by her him. head, but not on purpose. It was just like yeah, in the yeah. Chaos. Well, she's already dead anyway. She got her head chopped off, and her, her body's shot off. still yeah. running around. Dude, yeah. what I loved about when uh, when Heidi shooting up the place and she's shooting at the cast on the piano. I love how some of the faces get smushed in by the bullets. Yeah, or like when the rat gets killed. Like it, the rat, the rat getting shot reminded me of. Robocop when Peter Weller gets blown like blown to bits it cause it's the same thing like but our like, limbs are shot rat off is scummy he deserved to die I was sad when he died cause I he's loved him he's a pornographer he's a drug he's dealer a rapist. he's a, a rapist. rapist oh yeah I forgot about the he rapist tried raping and, and, by been... the way like again like, I know we've said this before but these are puppets. puppets these are puppets doing this like stuff. cartoonish looking puppets doing yeah. this Actually, there, oh, this is another weird thing. The rules of this world are weird because everyone else is an animal in some fashion, but then they have a human yogi character who like does like. Oh, the Indian! I forgot about him. He gets his yeah. head stuck in his ass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He was he's still... a, he's actually a human, but he's a puppet still. But yeah. then, what's a human puppet to there... an animal puppet? By the way, can we say how racist that that stereotype of the Indian is? Eh, and, it was still kind of pretty racist. It's pretty racist, but like and, I've seen worse. And can we talk about how like his head got stuck up his rectum like all the way, and then during the shooting yeah. he actually gets out, and then when yeah. he gets out, he has shit all over himself, and he's happy the fact that he's out, but then the spikes fall on him, <laughs> killing him. Like that is funny, man. People dying no, is funny. I also realized that. That they were technically doing a play in front of like a live audience, right? Because they were trying to get picked up yeah. for, for syndication. syndication. Mm. Heidi shoots at the crowd. No, but the, the crowd the crowd was like I feel like they actually brought in people for this scene, like actual people. Oh, definitely. Like, like they were of, actually like seeing a play for them. They were just seeing a play. Yeah, Peter Jackson has a cameo in the movie as where, as one of the audience members, and then and the audience but most members, of, most of the audience members had like fake animal like masks. Oh yeah, the for Butch, I guess the mask that Peter Jackson had is from Bad Taste. Uh, his first ever film that he did, right? Yes, which I love because like it's 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 cheap. Like you watch it, it's really cheap, but it has a charm about it. The fact, that, like especially the effect where he's fighting himself. And then he f- he falls off a cliff and breaks his head open. So Miguel, like uh, you've been kind of quiet, but let me ask you this: so, yeah. uh, you like this film? Like the ending sort of saved this film for you. So, but would you say that you liked it or disliked it? 
I would say. Tell me where you said that. It was like. That's would a you good... watch it again? Honestly, rewatching the whole movie, no. If I start at the V, like, like a little segment where he's they're starting to get into the Vietnam segment, yes, I would watch it. And so you, so would you say that the reason why you disliked the film was because again, like the first half kind of the the fir- muddy like, things up a little bit. Yeah, everything's all like thrown all around. Like it felt so such a hassle just to like try to like okay, this is going on, this is going on. As soon as it starts tying uh, together, then it feels then it feels like a good movie. What about you, Rodolfo? Uh, why did you like or dislike this film? Um, the only thing I disliked was like. There were just too much things going on at once. If there was like properly like spaced out or like talked about, then yeah, I would like it from the beginning. I didn't read the credits, but I, I'm, I, I honestly wonder: Did this movie have an editor? I feel like, it, of, of course. I, I guess, but like maybe not a good one because like I do think there were just some scenes that just could be cut out and nothing would be affected. But I mean, I still I, I like this movie overall, but. Honestly, the main thing that I liked about this movie was the look of it. I love this the dark sets with the punctuated by bright lights. I like oh, that yeah. look. I think it's very good. That's why whenever it sort of left it... <laughs> oh, no. That's why whenever it sort of left that... Uh, the stage house, I was sort of like, eh. Like, when they're on the golf... When they're on the golf course was the exception because I just thought it was funny. Like, Peter Jackson was like... We gotta get out of here. Like the rich guys are gonna come golfing, and we don't want to. We don't want to see them in our weird ass outfits. <laughs> yeah, some of the puppets are actually human sized puppets. Like yeah, it, they're it's not like, even like it's puppets. They're just suits. The bulldog. Oh, the bulldog. The bulldog. Who gets his head eaten off by Sheila of the spider? A giant. Yeah, they have a giant spider out of nowhere. And, and he's acting as like a crane. He's acting as a crane picking up. Stuff. I didn't put that together. You didn't? I no. did. Because there oh. was a scene. There was a scene beforehand, like. Like, uh, th- them lifting up, or it was lifting up, oh, like, his package. I didn't even notice. And then he realized, oh, dude, they're stealing. That's when he came down. And by the same package that it was lifting up, that's how oh, he got knocked off. Peter that's Jackson, cool. you clever son of a bitch. I didn't even wow, notice I know that's something you guys didn't. But, oh my god. Don't let it get to your head too much. Going back, that, yeah. that well pup is shitty. Like, I'm thinking back to it. Yeah, it's just like, a, it's a garbage bag with eyes on it. Wait, what? The the, the whale puppet. The sarlacc. Because it's constantly blowing oh. in the wind. <laughs> also, I kind of liked the, the, the crab. The crab people. Oh, oh yeah, the crab people. They're just like, oh, and then once they're on their back, they literally cannot, like, flip yeah. over. <laughs> And they just kill them while they're on their backs. Yeah, oh, they just ship, they shank them. Like how the was that it? fucking chewed through his arm? He pulled, he ripped it off. Then, then bull, like, why did the other people need to go? The, the, just send the bulldog and he yeah. killed the entire gang. Spider. Well, yeah, but he yeah. still killed the entire Which, way, gang. I'm surprised, like, why? You just lost a cast member and you don't care. Yeah. Mm. By the way, I love the New Zealand voices in this movie. Because, like, I love, like, even though they're all, like, you know, the, the voices are funny. They're all very distinctive. Like, oh yeah, that's the bulldog. I mean, did you guys know that uh, Robert, the guy who voiced Robert, also voiced Heidi, the hippo? No, I really? didn't know that. No. Yeah, same, same. That's a big uh, difference. No, that's, uh, yeah. The guy who voiced Arthur, I believe, voiced uh, Bletch the walrus. Arthur the, the worm? worm, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because this film, this film has like 40 characters and like, Three people and like them. eight actors. <laughs> By the way, the, the reason why I love Arthur is besides the fact that we point out that he's Arthur, but he's kind of like he's the 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 hand behind the stage, but he's, nobody ever notices him. Yeah, he's always like helping put stuff together, and uh, and I love the fact that at the end during the Where Are They Now, he he, he received an award for a long time, like being oh, in he the, received the, Order of the you know, British <laughs> Empire. This worm, <laughs> no being. Which, by the way, I love the scene where before when after, before the cops goes like, Hi, "I gotta turn you, I gotta turn you in." I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, Heidi, but but I, have I mean, to turn you in. It doesn't really matter because hi, like this is one thing. It's like at, in the end, in the very end scene, uh, it tells the story of the survivors of this massacre. Kind of like uh, where are they now? Type of thing. Yeah. No, Heidi would not be reconditioned and put back in society. That well, 
Well, oh, well she see, was, it took her 10 years, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, see, yeah. this is the thing. Like, in American uh, princesses, no. She, for that, she's in jail for but life. But this isn't American. But yeah, this is like, I think, even this is a New Zealand production, there's a lot more Britishness yeah. to yeah. this than New Zealand. Uh, which is like, I mean, because Arthur has a British accent. Uh, Robert... Even though he's voiced by a New Zealand guy, he sounds more Welsh than New Zealand. Uh, I can't. Okay, this is your territory because you're. you're every, yeah, you're talking to yourself like, right now. Everyone, everyone has more of like a British accent than. Like, how like can you tell New the difference between Welsh and British? Uh, there's no a. You, you is it also <laughs> almost the same thing, by the way? Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to be caught saying that in, in Wales, dude. Too okay. <laughs> Dude, you all sound proper. There was whatever. a scene dude, I like. Dude, fifty percent of our audience is Welsh. Dude, you can't <laughs> fucking say that. <laughs> there was a scene where I like the with Arthur. It's kind of like a, like, uh, what's it called? A rewarding moment for him when, where they're where he's with Blatch at the top. Oh, he gets a and cigar. And he gets a cigar. It's like, oh, dude, is that one of those cigars? Blah blah blah. It's like, yeah. Would you like one? It's like, would I ever? I haven't smoked one of these since like he first started like working there or something like that. My eighteenth birthday. Yeah, it's twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Twenty one. No, yeah, twenty one. Something like that. Yeah, twenty one. And he's like happily choking on it, but he's still enjoying it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, he deserved it. But like, after all the bullshit he gets from everybody. Do you remember when the when the rat gave him the cigarette but the wrong way? Yeah, uh, you put tr- it in the wrong way. You're trying to kill me. But yeah, like <laughs> Heidi, in like a British prison system. Yeah, that is probably, like, uh, you could probably, like, kill, like, five people. It depends yes. on how, how reformed they got. I'm oh, yeah. Sure, like, how much they changed in I mean, for progress. for instance, like, there's a there was a crime. This is going to get, like, super serious for a second. But, like, there was a there were these two child criminals who were, like, oh. 10 or 8 years old. And they killed a toddler. Like, they murdered a toddler. They're, like... Yeah, I read about this. Yeah, like, they're, uh, they're on... They're free now. They're, like, they have new identities now. And they work in public. Yeah, that's what happened to Heidi. She got a new identity. She works at a at a grocery store. Yeah. That's what they do. And I assume the Commonwealth countries. I would think. I mean, then again, like from Heidi's point of view, she was like kind of bullied, and she, and she went also through, was like mentally so de- unstable, depressed, exactly. Because like she would work out and then immediately just start eating. It's almost like this. It's almost like the <laughs> British healthcare system is much better than the American one. I don't know politics. Get woke. Oh, oh, Connor, oh, shut up! Okay. Learn about the world. You, All right. you just win the podcast with that. So, <laughs> could you guys say we're gonna cancel this podcast with you, dude? <laughs> could what? this movie be made today? Um, I don't necessarily <laughs> see it as a movie, but <laughs> I, I see it like if it was like in a series, s- series, but like short. I say like no. ten to fifteen minutes. Because I'm pretty sure no, because I'm pretty sure a movie like this probably was gonna cost a pretty penny. And then these days, the studio want to invest in a movie like that. Like, hell, there's this movie that, that the Henson Company has been wanting to make forever. The Happy Time Murders or something like that. Where it's a movie where it, it was going to have Carson Heigl in it. And a puppet. Where puppets and the humans coexist. And this famous puppet got murdered. And then the whole movie was going to be like... It's kind of like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but with puppets. And yeah. way more like graphic. There's another movie kind of like that much lower budget i think it's called um it's called the fuzz and what it, it's a buddy cop movie but there's a cop and then there's i, I saw a, a, like a poster of this and yeah. then there's like a puppet who's like working alongside him and they're trying to solve like a uh a muppet drug ring but like i can't remember what drug they i think it's like this do you know what this is these are gummy bears dude people have died because <laughs> of this and like, but only Muppets get like high on it or something. So, so Miguel, this movie does kind of like this is kind of like a forerunner of different puppet properties. Miss so Miguel, do you think this movie could be made today? Ah, uh, that's a hard question. If it was, if it was, if it was trying to go released on like television or movie, no. If it was an online series, and if it was done in a way. St- a, a weird example I want to use is kind of like Sausage Party, mm-hmm. where if it was animated, and but done I, slave labor, but like if 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 it was animated as if it was like three D models of puppets, and like it was like a puppet show, but all done in three D. Don't you mean kind of like motion stop? But I kind of like mo- kind of like motion stop, but like everything's three D rendered, but like the animation is still like. It's like a 3D animation of a guy playing with puppets. 
Okay. I, I, like think that. That would, I think that would kind of like take away some of the charm of it. Yeah. I think that I think this movie could be made today if it was by Peter Jackson because I think Peter Jackson would be like, yeah, I'll make three movies of the Silmarillion, but in exchange, I get to make a remake of fucking. Uh, Meet the Feebles, like okay, the, mo- the movie I made, I'm gonna remake my own movie, which yeah. actually has happened. Yeah, but like, <laughs> funny games. Hey, Peter Jackson, we need you to re- we need you to do more Lord of the Rings movies this time with the Silmarillion, really, the prequel that no one really likes. See, I think what? about remakes. Yeah, is, like there's a lose their touch. So before the Hobbit, there's the Silmarillion, which is basically like how the Ring was even made, and even how like Sauron got to be created, kind of. Is that- he making a movie in that? I hope not, because okay. I hated the Silmarillion. And I'm pretty sure you don't like the Hobbit movies. I liked the first one. I like... Yep, yeah, so yeah, that was uh, Meet the Feebles. <laughs> now, now, here's my... We're not even going to talk about the Hobbit movies. Now, here's my special question. Yes. You are a puppet in this, in this movie. <laughs> oh. What would be your act in the Meet the Feebles cue? True. Like I like. What, we, what would your axe? Okay, be? can I choose my animal? Yeah, I can choose your animal. Wait, well, hold on. Did you mean like, out of the axe that are there, which one would we be in? No, or but make, you make your own. Make your own act. Oh. But you're in Meet the Feebles troop, and then you're a puppet, and you can choose the animal. All right, my act is. All right, I'm a hyena. Okay. All right. Uh, and my act. Is this hyena? Does he have long hair as well? What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed you to mean? You have shitty long hair. That's fuck what you, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, at least I have her, you son of a bitch. Oh. Hey, I'm proud of at my At least he doesn't complain about, you, you know, sure? car right with the window open and the hair getting roll, his eyes. Roll the fucking window. Cut, Cut your, your fucking hair, hair hippie. No, Anyways, he wants to let it grow out. See how long it grows. Yeah, look at that fucking uh, high school shooter so hair. you were saying, Connor? Fuck you. I'm a hyena. I'm a hyena <laughs> puppet. And my act is I have four other hyena puppets with me. And we're kind of like, and we shoot jokes of each other, and the joke would be that we all like hyena laugh at our own jokes. <laughs> Rodolfo, what about you? Honestly, I don't know how to answer this. Because <laughs> I, I, it's like, I wouldn't know what act I would do. Okay, um, what puppet animal would you be? Uh, probably like a wolf, maybe. <laughs> if, you just said, wolf. if you said hyena, I'd be like, what the Fuck, man. So the chillest wolf. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah man, I do drugs. No problem. You just casually, like, eat people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miguel, what about you? I would be a... Oh, fuck, that's... Uh, a... <laughs> I had it ready, but now I'm like... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I would it. be a oh, fuck. I would be a giraffe, and I would have, oh. like, a... Oh, that's interesting. I would be... Because giraffes are my favorite animal, and my act would be, like, a... Like, a one-man, like, play. Kind of like what Tom Hardy did, where he had his... Face painting that, uh-uh. and just and Bronson, yeah, yeah, and Bronson, and then reenact like a scene where a, a, in a, a husband and wife are uh, domestically abusing each other, but at the end they get, <laughs> they they resolve their fights, but one of them kills the other. Yeah, this is not gonna make it on the TV. <laughs> on the Feebles, probably. <laughs> you know, if that was a scene in this movie, you know how it would end. The giraffe gets too into character and actually like kills himself while like pretending to be one of the. That's my dream. <laughs> That's a good question. That's yep. made me think about question it. Question I'm not going to answer, but you guys answered. What the fuck? I fuck mean, it. you don't have to answer. It. Yeah, you I actually. asked it. <laughs> what do you, I already asked the question. What more do you hey, want from me? you were nice to me. Don't go into uh, don't tomorrow. Go, show. Don't, don't go to rehearsal tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your ex again, Rodolfo? My he, he didn't have one. Oh, he didn't have one. I honestly, I honestly, like, my answer to this is, like, I wouldn't have an act because, like, I don't really want to be in the act. I'd rather be in the in the background, like helping uh, out yeah. Arthur. Stage hand, stage hand, uh, helping yeah. Arthur. Stick with Arthur. You'll survive that way. You'll survive. Yeah. C- can I ask a question, Stephen? No. Yeah, go ahead. You're okay, so so like so we have our acts and like our characters. What the fuck are you trying to pull? What here? would be your one personality trait and your in your subplot in in this in in what? Meet the Feebles? Ooh, that would be ooh this is, this is, all right. Yeah. I like this. But that means Stephen has to answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah son yeah. of a bitch. So I'm gonna. You know what? This is gonna sound lazy. I'm a, I'm a bear. All right, I'm a bear. Cause you're gay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, cause I. All right, just, welcome back to Sean the Host they're podcast. They're big and fat, but like, I, <laughs> I want to be like a bear. How is that more? Now, okay, go on. Let I'm try. a nerdy bear who just is somehow in the in the in the 
mm-hmm. act. Mm-hmm. I do like I'm a bad comic because I'll do like try to do like geeky references and nobody in the crowd gets them. So you're Fozzie Bear. Yes, I'm Fozzie Bear. Except you're in Meet the Feebles. Except I'm Meet the Feebles. And my thing is I'm trying to get my own show. But the thing is, I sneak into, I sneak at night to use the equipment while everyone else is not using them. I'm trying to get my own shit off the ground. I mean, that's just kind of smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, can? And then, and then oh. I'm a bear. I have glasses. <laughs> and then I wear like okay. I wear I'm like and I wear t-shirts, but they're they're too they're too tight. So like the fur is like the fur is like sticking out from the sleeves. Uh. <laughs> I think it's so. It's funny how you're like, "Why are you a bear because you're gay?" No, it's because I'm fat and hairy. Like, what you say? I'm fat. Big. I'm fat and hairy. Big and fat. <laughs> like, why is that better than being gay? Excuse me, Excuse Excuse Connor. Me? Nobody said that. No, like you're like no. Whoa. Like, no, it's like it's, putting words in his No, mind. like no. I'm not talking because I'm gay. It's hey, because go I'm on, fat go and on. hairy. Stop yourself a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm the hyena who's in a troupe of hyena comics who laugh at their own jokes. My story is that I'm embezzling money from the theater troupe trying to pay off uh, my alimony payments. Ooh, that's Ooh. interesting. And then I get caught, but just as I'm about to die, uh, I, I'm instantly die. sick. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, as I'm about to be murdered, uh, a stray bullet comes in and saves me, and I run off into the night, never to be seen again. Hey. Wait, what about you, uh, chill yif wolf? Uh, I I would like secretly be wanting to cause an accident and kill somebody on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, fuck! You That's for the comedic purposes. It's the chill ones you gotta watch out for. I think like, all nice and everything, and I, like somehow like I want it to be a legit accident just so I can watch it. Like oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, fuck, man. It sucks to be you, no, brother. Dude, Either that dude, or, or an accident happened to me where I survive and claim the insurance. Dude, hey, a yeah. stage light falls near <laughs> someone, you're like, in the background, fuck. Oh fuck! You blame it on me. With me, I I'd be my subplot would be like I, I come from a, a bad relationship, and the only way I could I could I could like uh, with a racehorse you could say yes. And so my only type of therapy is putting on this 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 uh, the the act where I'm both the guy and the girl, and I get way too into it, and then I kill myself at the end. Do you just want to watch... Hey, yo, do you, 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 you stole my bit! Do you just want to watch Bronson? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, if Bronson was in this movie, like, not even as an animal, just as Bronson... Just as, just as fucking Mon Tom Hardy. Hardy. He, just, he just kills all the animals with his bare hands. I want Tom Hardy to be a voice of a puppet now. Let's get Peter Jackson and Tom Hardy on the phone. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much uh, Meet the Feebles. Thanks for joining us. Would you recommend this movie, Steven? Again, to certain people. Not to grandma, yeah, not to my mom like, or dad. Like, for me, it's like... Uh, like uh, I wouldn't watch it again. And like I just feel like people would be like off-play. Like, oh, they will start watching it. But like, no, I'm not going to watch it. But the movie touches me because it has... The dark humor, and I love the dark humor in this movie so much. This is, I would recommend it only if you really like puppets and if you're a Peter Jackson completionist. But oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Uh, I could see me watching this movie uh, again, but only on like a special kind of night. Okay, like, yeah, like a real, like, real, like, scummy hey, night. Hey, kid. I know you like Lord of the Rings. Here's a movie directed by the same guy. To meet the people. Oh, great, Dad. I'll watch this movie now. Ah! <laughs> Dude, I want to see... I want to go back in time and look at the... the Because I heard this has happened, actually. Back then, and then the video stores where they put Meet the Feebles in the kids section because they had puppets in the I mean, cover. Yeah, like... Yeah, you like the people couldn't be fucked to actually look at the rating system. N- you know what? That's funny. You say that. Parents don't look at ratings. They don't. They don't. They I remember don't. that person on the And meanwhile, GameStop. they complain yeah. about, like, why the fuck was in the kids' section? I don't know. Like, how would you look at the fucking movie you want to show your I'm kids? I mean, like, that would be parents nowadays. Mini rant. There was this one time in the theater where Logan was playing. A, a mom took her four-year-old son, right? Because Logan, X-Men. <laughs> and then she walked out, went a refund, but it was already past the third minute mark. And she's like, well, I mean, before that, it really didn't show into the ND graphics, but then it went oh, to the really? graphics stuff. Like, no, let me finish. And then it was like, whoa, <laughs> ma'am, the movie is rated R. We, I even told you before I sold the ticket. And it's like, no, well, that's the thing. I thought it was just going to be X-Men or like things. And oh. then the biggest thing <laughs> wasn't the, the violence. The biggest thing was the fact that they showed one breast in the movie. Oh my, that, that's a whole Are you camera. serious? Yeah, yes, let me explain. 
This. Uh, Sorry, Connor, no, it's you. Now I'm you, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> but like, you ding! son of a bitch. Ding! No, but like, the thing is, um, a lot of times when I remind people that Logan was right R, the one thing they always said, does it have sex in it? No. Okay, then, we're good to go. Like, I will tell them there's blood and guts, it's violent. Does it have sex in it? No. Okay, then, my kid can watch this. Like, apparently, parents are not turned off by. S- they're not. They're turned off by sex, and they don't want to shoot kids. But it's violent. Violence is okay. I, yeah, yeah I couldn't of, see that. That was. Kind of, but like, I, I see. I don't agree with it at all. I think sex is way less bad for a kid to see than violence. Yeah, but, but it's like awkward. If I was, a but then would be awkward. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. You don't want to educate your kids. Not that like, young. I mean, if, if I had, like, no, it, honestly. Okay, yeah, okay, I you know, let's sure. not talk about this. I, we'll talk about it after the podcast. Mini rant. But no. yeah, that was my mini rant. Mini rant over. Save it for uh, soon for soon after. But uh, don't take it out of context. Don't when take it out of context back. when it comes back. Uh, but then we would have talk about something else, not even this topic. Yeah, but I think we've sort of discussed all we can about this film. I, I, it's we, weird. It's weird. It's not for everyone. But I think we can all find something that we liked about it. Yes, and as uh, this episode, this will be the last episode. We'll be taking the reins from now on. Connor can take the reins because I suck at it. What is everyone's ratings? Oh, me? It's a nine out of ten. I'm a I'm a seven six out of ten. I'm seven out of ten. Three out of five. Okay, you got. Okay, that's six out of ten. You for you fucking Celsius piece of shit. Anyways, thanks. Thank you for joining us with. uh, Everybody here, uh, Two Cent Theater. The episodes after this, will, will, the other episodes after this will be way better. Trust me, because I won't be don't, charged. Don't put anymore. yourself down. Don't Steven. put yourself down, Steven. You gotta put yourself down. Anyways, thanks. For, <laughs> thanks for joining. Do you, you want to finish that sentence? That like you were gonna. That finish. was it. <laughs> no, that's the thing. You gotta put yourself down before somebody else can put you down. That's my motto. It's one of my important models. Anyways, thank uh, Connor and uh, Steven <laughs> for hosting this, and you know, bringing uh, me, Rodolfo, and uh, Miguel here. Yeah. Uh, where can people find you uh, when you're not recording podcasts? Uh, Instagram, 5P1RAL. You know, just follow me if you want or send me a message. <laughs> up to you guys. To you. Same thing as Twitter. Well, it's, like, it's like, it's Instagram. If you want to stalk me, go ahead. If you want to send me a message, go ahead. You want to send me... Uh, DM. You want to send me dick pics, go ahead. Oh, oh no, I never said that. Connie, that's rude. What well, about you, Miguel? You, uh, mine is, my Instagram that I'm usually on is at Miggle underscore Moonman. I'm also on Tumblr as uh, Caramolfi, and also that's the name of my Neopets username. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. You can find me at on Instagram at StevenLaura95. Yes, it's, it's that simple. I have the least complicated <laughs> names out of everybody because uh, I am a simple man. I'm Connor double underscore James34. Is that yeah. it? Uh, and you have two underscores. I have two underscores. That's why I said double underscore. You I didn't did. hear the double. Wait, I didn't have two. Listen. All right. That's that. That's where you can find us. Follow us if you want. We post updates. Uh, well, they do. I don't. Fuck. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll come. We'll be back to you with more classic film reviews. Bye. And don't forget to check out our other stuff. You know, possibly Don't Say Out of Contact Season 1 or any other gameplay videos. Ah, yes. Where can they find those gameplay videos? On the same channel, Context. We, we, we actually never say Context Crew here. Yes, we do. Yes. I said it last time. Yeah, but not in this episode. But, yeah. like, the, it's on the same channel. <laughs> you idiot. Alright, all right, let's you can say... Find our fucking our fucking Context you. Crew. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my God.